episode of everyone's least favorite show, This is Ridiculous. So on last week's episode, uh, the audience noticed some weird girl named Nicolina, as she says, when in reality she's named Nicole, eat some sassy salsa, and she became an absolute weirdo, and um, Mr. Omniscient kind of forgot what happened, but... He doesn't want to explain because he's lazy, so, um, he chose an ending. So, yeah. Oh, with the audience, look at that! It's cute sea trout! Hi, Mr. Omniscient Recording here. This is ridiculous! Stop it. <laughs> Stupid lady. I want a Hulk cat. Give me a Hulk cat right now 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 www I will tell your manager about this. Why do you hate me? Alrighty, so back to um high school. Velvet is absolutely furious at Salsa Wolf. By the way, his name is Johnny Applin. And she's furious at Mr. Applin for feeding her sister the salsa. So we meet again, Jonathan Applin. Hmm. I see you moved to teaching high school. I was in your fifth grade class, 2014, 2015, if you remember. You always pulled me by the ears. You always picked on me and called me out And during math. You would literally take me outside of the classroom and scream in my face if I did something to upset you. And remember that one time we were having a conversation about hair dye? And you said that 17 is the legal age for- Yeah, yeah, I remember it. 17's the legal age for adulthood. I still stand by what I said. No, it's not, Johnny! It's 18! And I'm not in your class anymore, so you can't boss me around. Well then, fine. What are you gonna do to me then, Velvet? Something I should have done in fifth grade. I'm gonna kick your butt, Jonathan. Now sure, Jonathan, you made my life a complete nightmare in fifth grade. The entire year in your class was complete suffering. But you know what? You messed with my family, and I'm not okay with that. Now you're gonna pay severely for it. Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and let an eighth grade girl order me around. I don't care what you think, okay? You hurt my sister. You're gonna pay. This is for the candy cane incident. The time you told me to write an essay on candy canes and to write exactly what it said on the website for what it said about candy cane history. And then I turned in the paper and you said I was plagiarizing and you humiliated me in front of the class. And then at that other time when I did my math homework and you said I was doing it wrong when I did exactly what you told me to. Right, now you're just bringing up the past. You just love doing that, don't you? Well, aren't you a hypocrite? You're the one who would always bring up my flaws throughout the entire school year. It was literally May of 2015 when you brought up the first day of school when I misunderstood your instructions that you didn't even give clearly on that one little paper we had to write. Oh my gosh, you guys are so dramatic. Like, <sighs> Nicolina, have some waterina, honeyrina. It'll make you go back to the way you was arena. I don't know what language you're speaking. Oh yeah, that, that's refreshing. Oh dear. Oh my god, Arena. Velvetina, you said it arena very wrong. You only add Ina to noun arenas. Not to every single word arena. Oh, hallelujah, she's back. Okay, I have a, a task for you. I want you to annoy that Johnny Applin guy over there. All right, audience, so this is getting a little bit long, but what happened was Nicole spoke to Salsa Wolf, or Johnny Applin, in the Ina Itis way, and uh, apparently over time, it became a trend at Um High School. So now everyone at Um High School speaks with the Enas. Yeah, sorry to cut it so short, but time is running out. And Mr. Omission has to narrate the next story, so time to move on. This next story begins at a movie theater snack bar. Alrighty, so on today's episode of This Is Ridiculous, there will be a special guest named Amy Limited. That's right, third person limited. Baxter doesn't have to be so loud. He knows that, right? Did Miss Limited just call Mr. Omniscient by his first name? That's it. Miss Limited appearances will only happen every four episodes. Hence the name Limited. Miss Limited will only have limited appearances. <laughs> He's so clever. Mr. Omniscient's the most clever mother phantom ever. Alrighty, whatever he says, but today Miss Limited will be narrating. 
fine. Whatever she says. <sighs> Mr. Omniscient hates being so kind all the time. She's finally doing it. She's finally narrating a story. Aw, Mr. Objective is so proud of his wife. Alrighty, so this story will be about a pig named Gina. She's very socially awkward, and she comes up with very weird food ideas. She's not exactly the brightest kind of person, always making poor health choices, and not knowing how to treat others with common courtesy. She also happens to believe with all her heart and soul that she's very intelligent, but in reality she has so much to learn about the world. Hello, my name is Gina. Oh, goodness. Welcome to the movies. I'm Claire de Lune. So your name is French and you have a British accent. Interesting. Well, I'm afraid that's personal information, dear. I don't think I want to waste your time before the movie talking about my personal life, of course. What? Well, whatever, I came here to get a snack, not hear about your life story. Exactly what I was trying to tell you, miss. Who? Try and assess me. A. Your manager will hear about this. This behavior is unacceptable. Why do you hate me? What? I was just... Um, I... Anyways, I want to order something now. I would like six large popcorns with extra butter, three large sodas, fifteen bags of gummy bears, ten slushies, and a hot cat. Miss, you do realize that's a lot of junk food. You'll get terribly sick. And what exactly is a hot cat? You mean a hot dog? No, I mean a hot cat. As you can see, I'm a very healthy woman. I'm on a diet. I have to eat lots of popcorn. It's very healthy and so is candy and coke. I want a hot cat. Give it to me now. But miss, I don't know what a hot cat is. We only serve hot dogs. Give it to me now or I will tell your manager that you tried to poison me. I want it now, old lady. My father is a cop. He will arrest anyone I tell him to. Why do you hate me, old lady? I get that I'm young, beautiful, and rich, but I deserve to be treated with respect. Give me a hot cat right now. How about I compensate with three hot dogs, because I'm afraid we don't carry this hot cat, at least not yet. Stupid old lady. Why are you working in a movie theater? Shouldn't you be in the retirement home with all the other prunes? You fat llama. Give me a hot cat right now, I mean it. I will call my father to come and arrest you and I will tell your manager and you'll lose your job. Give me a hot cat right now. Miss, I don't know what to tell you other than the very fact that maybe you are speaking of the hot dog. A hot dog, not a hot cat. Hot cats don't exist. They do because I say they do. I am rich and powerful. Anything I say goes. I'm relevant. I'm cool. I'm beautiful. I am everything you're not. Now give me a hot cat right now. I'm just going to assume you mean the hot dogs. No. 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 No! No 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 I want a hot cat right this moment. I, want I need you to remain right calm. I want a hot cat right this moment. Give me a hot cat right now. Well, I guess that wraps it up. Time for a creative ending. What? No 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 no. You must be joking. The story isn't over yet. I want to make this old lady pay for refusing to give me my food. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. Alright audience, they know the drill. Comment a creative ending to this skit. Just make sure to be appropriate and to not use any overused memes. Those are the rules every single time. Oh look at that! Foxes can stare! So you actually made it the whole way through? You watched the entire video? Thank you so much if you did. Well, of course you did, unless you skipped to this part, you know what I'm saying. But thank you for watching, you're always welcome here whether you're subscribed or not. And always remember this, never fear your uniqueness. If you have creative ideas, let them out. I'm here to inspire y'all. See you all next video. Bye.